In this discussion, you can see overview of models metadata or other terminology models attribute. In case you missed previous discussion about how to extend or inheritance work in Odoo, please check link is given in description. Let's see first basic attributes developer need to know and then other discussion we will see real test cases. First attribute is underscore name attribute and I guess you are aware about this attribute and this is very common attribute. This attribute is used to define a model which we are using like underscore name equal to then after the model name and for for more information about this attribute you can see the previous discussion about how to create model and then the next attribute is underscore description and this attribute is used to get the information about models information for example if you are creating any other any model and for that model you can also define one description of that model so other developer can see that what is the purpose of that particular model so that time we can use this underscore description attribute and uh, Another attribute is underscore inherit and while you are extending any model that time this attribute is used and for the syntax you can see like underscore inherit equal to and then the model name. If you see the previous discussion we already described the underscore inherit and underscore inherits attribute. What is the purpose of these two attributes and what is the difference between these two attributes. The next attribute is inherits. Only the difference is like you can inherit multiple models in a particular model. So that time you can use underscore inherits. And here the syntax is slightly different compared to underscore inherit attribute. Here you have to define the model name and then in colon and then you have to define the specific field name then after comma and you can add like multiple model name here the example is already available in this channel you can see in description also then after underscore rec underscore name attribute is widely used if you want to display a specific field name in a relational field let's say like many to one field in that time this attribute is very used the default value is name field and if you are not using in your model as a name field then by default it will use as a id plus the object name so here in this case you have to use this underscore rec underscore name then after equal to and then the whatever field you want to display then that field you have to add here after that the underscore order attribute like this attribute is commonly used for example like if you want to change the order by of the record set then this attribute is very useful for example if you want to see the latest records in in preview as well as in search method that time you can use this underscore order attribute and by default it's the id and uh, it's the ascending order we will see real test case after this discussion then after underscore table attribute and uh, this like for example like whenever you are using underscore name attribute then automatically odoo will create the same model name same table name inside the postgres side but if you want to change the default behavior of the table creation that time you can use underscore table attribute and here you have to use as a string value like underscore table equal to in string you have to define a table name and table name which is very unique so after like Odoo will automatically create the table name inside postgres database and yeah like by default the value is and whatever the define inside the underscore name attribute it will get from that if you want to see the real test case the link is available in description after underscore auto attribute supports boolean data type true and false and by default it's a true like uh, if you want to create 
table automatically inside the Postgres side then uh, this underscore auto is auto attribute is very useful if you want to create the post like database view or uh, you have to create a manual table inside the Odoo that that time you can just override this attribute and uh, and the value should be false so once the installing the module like Odoo won't be create the table inside the Postgres site you can see the real test case after this discussion underscore SQL underscore constraint attribute is very useful while you are defining any SQL level constraint let's say I have one table like percentage table and value should not be greater than 100 and if any user will enter more than 100 value then uh, from the SQL side it will reject the reject the specific operation to support the SQL level constraint like Odoo provides this attribute and you can also provide more more than one constraint for a single table using list of tuple and in tuple having a three major values the first value is the name of the constraint SQL constraint name then after the constraint value you have to provide in the second parameter and third parameter you have to define the user message so once the like user will add any non respective value then Odoo automatically like Postgres also automatically writes the error and based on that error like Odoo will show the user message we will see the real test case after this discussion like underscore sequence attribute is used to customize the specific models sequence name which is used by the id field for the specific model like sequence like the syntax is underscore sequence equal to and the name of the sequence name if you're not providing any value then auto automatically use the model name then after underscore id underscore seq by default and uh, if you are providing any sequence number then you have to remember you can just provide a unique name that's it and we will see the real test case after this discussion like underscore register attribute like this attribute is used if you don't want to register the specific model in ORM's registry that time you can use this attribute by default it's uh, the value is true and uh, the data type is boolean like true and false it's always a true value and if you don't want to register in ORM's registry then you can just simply use underscore register equal to false we will see the real test case after this discussion underscore transit attribute we already discussed in wizard or in transit model so basically like there are three types of model like one is a simple model like abstract model and another one is a transit model so whenever you are using a transit model then by default like underscore transit is true and the, the supported data type is boolean true and false and by default like if you are using any abstract method abstract class that time this underscore transit automatically the value is false and if you are using a transit model that time you don't need to override this attribute by default it's uh, true so same as the abstract attribute like whenever you are using a abstract class you are creating any abstract class that time like the underscore abstract equal to true and the supported data type is like same as the underscore transit like boolean data type true and false so we already discussed in our first session like how to create a model so you can see that one then after like underscore fold underscore name attribute is also used in kanban view side like if you are providing as a value as a fold so in front end side in user interface you can see the foldable kanban view but we will see this discussion in so don't worry about this attribute we will cover in kanban view 
discussion and yeah if you are working with the multi company concept that time this attribute is used like underscore check underscore company underscore auto and while you are using this attribute you have to define one company models field is available in the particular model which you are using this attribute and uh, that company field should have like underscore check underscore company attribute and it should be a true don't worry about this attribute like we will see the real test case in multi company concept like if you are working with the parent child view of the same model that time we can use underscore parent underscore name attribute and here you have to define like many to one field name as a string parameter and that field should be available in the same model we will see this attribute in parent child concept and the next one is the same one like underscore parent underscore store attribute like it is also working in the same like parent child concept and with the same model like the difference is here you can see like if you are providing as a true then you have to create one more field as a parent underscore path and field type is character field so whenever you are creating any record it will store the full path of the specific record in this parent underscore path field so we will see the real test case while we will see the parent child view concept and the last one is like underscore log underscore access attribute like once if you see the file fields automatically created by the odoo like id then after create that create user id then after write that and you write uid right and whenever you are creating a new record or while you are updating any record you can see the create that create uid and write that and write uid automatically change so if you don't want to update that time you can just use as a underscore log underscore access equal to false and the supported data type is boolean true and false by default it's a true and yeah it's also depend on the underscore auto attribute if underscore auto attribute is true then the log access is also true so same likewise like a real test case we will see after the next discussion in case you have any doubt or query, please comment below and see you in next session.